let's say you've been given something like this. It looks complicated, but it's, it's not really if you take it step by step. Here, you're trying to uh, make H the subject. Okay, visualize this as um, as one bubble here. Uh, so so this is one another bubble. Add this bubble here, and then add this bubble here. So in effect, you've got this equals this bubble plus this bubble plus this bubble. You're trying to make H the subject. H is stuck in this bubble here. Um, the 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 other the other two bubbles are free free of H. So H doesn't appear in here or here. Um, yeah. So, so, so this is your, your all important bubble here. This, this bubble here. Late, later on, we are going to get rid of this bubble and then get rid of this bubble. Well, move, move this bubble over here. Okay. And then we will deal with this bubble later on. Um, uh, eventually we, we, we have to kill off these lot so that H is standing on its own. Okay. Um, but before we do that, let's, let's tidy this up. Um, so, so that when you're given this, visualize it as this one bubble. One bubble, this plus this plus this. Okay, visualize as that. Okay, so you've got V equals this plus this plus this. But but before we do anything, let's let's tidy this up. Let's let's visualize this as uh, one bubble here, multiplying a fraction. So it's going to get multiplied to the top. Okay, so so let's rewrite this. Hang on. So V equals um, two. Pi to the power three, r to the power four, h, all over three. Okay, because it's really a bubble multiplying a fraction, so it's going to get multiplied to the top. Same thing here. Um, visualize this as one bubble here, and it, it's multiplying a fraction, so it gets multiplied to the top. So it will be this: um, four pi squared r to the power seven uh, over five. Okay. Uh, again, visualize this as, as a bubble here. It's multiplying a fraction, so it gets multiplied to the top. But the top is one, so one times anything is just that bubble. So it's, it's going to be pi to the power of six r over two. Okay. So now, um, so 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 now visualize it as um, here here you've got one block, adding another block, adding another block. That's what you've got. Uh, this is the most important block here because you're trying to make H uh, the subject and H is stuck in this block. So let's kill off this one and this one. So, so inside your mind, take away this block, take away this block from both sides. So it would be this. Hang on. Take the V down first and, uh, and then take away this block here, which is, uh, four, uh, pi, uh, squared R to the seven, to the seven, over five, and then you're taking away this block now, so it would be pi to the power six r over two equals. Well, what's left on on this side would be this this block here, okay, which is uh, two pi to the power three r to the power four h all over three, okay. So um so let let. Looking at this here, you know you've got to times three later on just to kill off this three here. Um, but let's, let's merge, let's merge all these together because, um, at the moment it's quite complicated. If, if you times three, it, it means you've got to times all, uh, all these blocks by three. Um, uh, you've got to times all these by three. Um, but, but let's, let's, let's merge all of these together and then it will, then multiplying by three would be really, really simple. So let, let's 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 turn the v into a fraction. Okay, so it would be v over one um, minus uh, yeah. So so hang on, uh, r squared. Sorry, r to the power of seven over five, and then and then this one here would be uh, pi six r here, and then two. This one will, will remain the same. Uh, r to the power of four eight. Oh, sorry, h uh, over three. Okay. Uh, but so so basically, all all that we've done is is turning this uh, this v into a fraction because we are trying to merge all these three blocks together so that later on one later on we can multiply by three easily. So so our, our aim at the moment is to merge these three blocks. Okay. So now let, let's. In order for us to merge, all the denominators have to be the same. 
So, how do we get all the denominators to be the same? Here's a trick. Times this one, top and bottom, by 10. Okay? This one times top and bottom here by 2. This one here times top and bottom here by 5. And then la later on, you can see, you will see that, um, uh, that uh, all, all the denominators will be the same. Um, you, you just have to develop your own technique. What, how, how, how is it that I know you times this by 10, times this by 2, and then times this by 5? How is it that I know that? You have to develop your own technique for that. Okay? So, well, I, I just know. So you have to develop your own technique. So here, this, this, um, this block here will become, well, V times 10 will be, um, will be 10 V over 10. Okay, take away, well, 2, uh, th this, this whole thing here, times 2. Well, I'm just going to get the 2 merged with the 4. So it will be 8 uh, pi squared r to the 7 over, now, now it's 5 times 2, which is 10. Okay, take away, now these 2, uh, 5 times this would be 5, um, 5 pi to the power 6 r over, well now is 2 times 5 which is 10. Now you see, you can see all the denominators, that they're all the same. Now on this side it will be, uh, well, it will, will, it will remain the same. So r to the power 4 h over 3, okay. So, um, so now, yeah, so, so all the denominators are the same, so let's, let's merge. Hang on. So here it will be 10, uh, so this one here will be 10v, take away 8 pi squared r to the seven, r to the, to the power 7, take away 5 pi 6r, and uh, on, on this side here it will be uh, uh, 2 pi to the power 3r to the power 4h over 3. Now you can times 3. Okay, um, times in by three. R remember when when we have um, uh, our our blue whale here e equals um, equals an elephant. Um, hang on, e equals an elephant and a giraffe. Now, if if you multiply both sides by three, you're going to have three blue whales, three elephants, three giraffes. So so here you this is like your elephant your giraffe and your hyena. If you multiply by three, you've got to have three, three lots of these, so three, three lots of these, three lots of these, but basically, you, you're going to have three here, three here, and three here. Okay? Um, so, so, so this will become, now, so, so you are here at the moment. Times both sides by three, it would be this. Hang on. Uh, it would be this. Uh, take this, hang on. 10 here. So, so we are multiplying both sides by 3. So, you could have put, you could have put all these in brackets, basically. Uh, minus, uh, 8 pi squared r to the 7 minus 5 pi 6 r. Okay? And then close the brackets. Because you, you are in effect having, you got to do this. Three elephants here, three, uh, giraffes here, and three hyenas there. So, so many times by three, you've got to put all these in brackets. Okay? On, on the left hand, oh, sorry, on the right hand side, it would be, um, two pi three r to the power four h. Okay? Now visualize this as, as this. This bubble multiplying this bubble. Uh, you, you, you want to get h on its own. So kill up this one. So divide both sides by, by this bubble here. Now, if, if you divide both sides, um, if you divide both sides by this bubble here, it's, it's going to get multiplied to the bottom, okay? It gets multiplied to the bottom, so it will be this. Hang on. So it will be, uh, well, the top will remain the same. V uh, minus 8 pi. Uh, you, you could multiply, multiply it out. You could multiply out the brackets, but I'm not going to bother. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Um, so 6 uh, pi to the power of 6 R here. Close the bracket. Uh, now, remember, this gets multiplied to the bottom. Okay, so so get the ten, merge it with the, the two here. 
So it will be 20 uh, pi to the power 3 r to the power 4. So there, h is on its own. So, so you rearranging this formula to make h a subject, it would be the, it would be this. Okay, so that's, that's your, yeah, so h is a subject now. Okay?